Matthew Perry's family released a statement one day after the Friends star allegedly drowned in his hot tub. The celeb, who died on Saturday, October 28, at age 54, is survived by his parents Suzanne Langford and John Bennett Perry, as well as his stepparents Debbie Boyle and Keith Morrison. We are heartbroken by the tragic loss of our beloved son and brother, the brood's remarks read. Matthew brought so much joy to the world, both as an actor and a friend. You all meant so much to him and we appreciate the tremendous outpouring of love. The clan was also pictured arriving to the 17 again Alum's home yesterday as they appeared to comfort each other and speak with authorities. As OK previously reported, police received a 911 call at 4.07 Pacific Standard Time on Saturday before they arrived to what they thought was a water rescue. According to the LA Times, EMTs found Perry unresponsive at the scene. Though the cause of death has not been confirmed, it is suspected Perry drowned following a cardiac arrest. The actor was not taken to the hospital, but a coroner's van was spotted leaving the home later that night. Reports claimed Perry played two hours of pickleball at the Rivera County Club near his Pacific Palisades home on the day of his passing. When he returned from the club, he apparently asked his assistant to grab a new iPhone and prescription glasses for him, but when the assistant returned Perry was unconscious. No illegal drugs were found on the scene, however, a source claimed authorities found antidepressants, anti-anxiety drugs and a COPD drug in the house. Prior to his unfortunate passing, Perry opened up about his struggle with addiction in his 2022 memoir, Friends, Lovers and the Big Terrible Thing. So much has been written about me in the past. I thought it was time people heard from me, he penned of the book on social media. The highs were high, the lows were low. But I have lived to tell the tale, even though at times it looked like I wouldn't. And it's all in here. Perry then explained how his substance abuse affected his daily life. I would fake back injuries. I would fake migraine headaches. I had eight doctors going at the same time, he said. I would wake up and have to get 55 Vicodin that day, and figure out how to do it. When you're a drug addict, it's all math. He revealed that he refrained from sharing his story until he felt Heath was safe from going into the dark side of everything again. I had to wait until I was pretty safely sober, and away from the active disease of alcoholism and addiction to write it all down, Perry noted. And the main thing was, I was pretty certain that it would help people.